Oh, hey guys. Welcome to the tutorial where I'm going to explain a little bit about layers. So we open Flash. And I'm going to open a recent item this time. These are all the files that I've been working on lately. So click on Flame 1, if that's what you named it. If it's not what you named it, then click on whatever it is you named it. And let's see. So the layers are basically down here in the timeline. And if you want, you can create a new layer right here. So you'll notice that it creates the layer um, in front of the one that was active before. So like if I click on this guy and create another one, it'll put it just above that guy. Now, I know that there's nothing on these two layers because they are white with a blank dot. If it's filled in with a black dot, then you know that there's artwork on that layer. And you can see when I click on this, it selects everything that's on that layer. Um, I'm going to demonstrate a little bit of how these layers work. So if I come up here and I select my color, I'm going to draw, I don't know, a piece of wood or something. Let's see if it can look like it's supposed to. Yeah, that looks gorgeous. All right, get rid of that. Use my line tool and do that. And then lighten that thing up. Paint fill that in, delete the line tool. Adjust that little edge there. All right, the beginnings of a piece of wood. Let's see here. Yeah, make that guy darker. And give it a shadow. Shadows are usually darker. There we go. No, why not make that the same color? Okay, cool. So we have this rudimentary piece of wood. Now, if I want to edit this piece of wood with the eraser tool, and I come along and I do this stuff, you'll notice that it also erased the flame. That's because in Flash, for some reason, they decided that the eraser tool should erase all layers that you go over, even if you're not on those layers. So I'm going to undo here. So this is my flame layer. I'll label it by double clicking and then typing in the word flame. Here's my piece of wood. So the way that I can prevent the erasing from happening on that layer is I can lock it. Now, once it's locked, if I try selecting it, I can't do that. I can only select what's unlocked. If I try going onto that layer and painting, I get this error. Would you like to unlock and show this layer? And you can say yes or no. I, I always say no because usually when this error comes up, it's on accident. I meant to have it locked and I meant to be on a different layer. It's very easy in Flash to lose track of which layer you're on because if it's unlocked and I select this flame layer, you'll notice that it switches between the two. So by selecting different layers up here, it auto moves to that layer. So be aware of that and watch out for it. Now if I want to leave this piece of wood here and just edit the flame beneath it, but I want to know where the wood is at, the best way to do that is to turn on outline mode, which I can do by tapping this colored box right here. And if I don't like orange, because maybe the orange is too close to that flame color, I can double click on it and change it here in the properties to something like blue, which is the same color I made the flame. So you can do this for all your different layers. If I'd like, I can also hide the wood completely, make it invisible. Keep in mind that when you hide a layer, it still will export. To export, you do Control Enter. So here's my preview of the Swift shockwave flash file. If I want it to not export, I can right click on the piece of wood and say guide layer. Make it a guide and then when I do control export, control enter, that is, the wood does not export. Guide layers <coughs> are used for other things as well but mostly what I use them for is to hide stuff. Keep in mind that a layer can be parented under a guide layer, which happens all the time when you're moving these around. Um, 
So just try to keep it clean by not parenting it to a guide layer. That's, like I said, that's a different function that we're not gonna be using today. So yeah, that's layers and the basics thereof. Hope you learned some things and have a good one.